Let's get to Rick Santelli. He's got the data for us as always. Good morning to you, Rick. Good morning, Wilf. Yes, construction spending for the month of May expected to be up a couple of tenths of a percent. Disappointment here, down a tenth of a percent, down a tenth, which actually up until this point before any revisions hit the wires, uh, a double. We were down one tenth of a percent last month as well, which means that out of the current five reads that we have for the month, only one was positive. That was February. Now, uh, there's the revision. Make that two. Up three tenths. So we get a disappointing construction spending for May, but the previous month, previous month goes from minus one tenth to up three tenths. So when you put them together, it's actually a bit better on a two month average. ISM manufacturing for June hitting the wires at 48.5. That's a little bit of a disappointment. And do keep in mind, Every month, every month but March was under 50. 48.5 is the weakest level going back to, well, uh, 48.5 is weakest since February when it was 47.8, 47.8. Now, 52.1 is prices paid. So, of course, we look at this in reverse. Normally, we hope for uh, higher numbers. In this case, we hope for lower numbers. 52.1 following 57.0. 52.1, that's the smallest prices paid of the year. 45.2 was December of last year. That's where we're comping to. New orders, 49.3. That follows 45.4. And finally, on the employment front, and this week's a good week to look at this closely with ADP and the big jobs, jobs, jobs report on Friday, 49.3. So it is below 50. Last month was 51.1. 49.3 is the weakest, well, just since April when we were at 48.6. And on these metrics, well, we've only had, what, January, February, March, and April were all under 50. Interest rates on the day are higher, but they're not at the highest levels. But should we close here, both twos and tens will be at three-week high-yield closes. Leslie, back to you.